Okay. All right, you guys. So we got our special Easter lesson because this Sunday is Easter. Oh, yes. How's everybody doing? Good. Awesome. All right. We're going to start off with prayer requests. Who has prayer requests? I have prayer requests. Yes, Tanaya? I want to still pray for people in those pastors. Okay, Faith, I can't do Tanaya. Hold on. What did you say, Tanaya? Another tornado in St. Louis, Missouri. Another western. Okay, so for tornadoes. All right. And, else? and a slight one in now north where Van Burgess lives. Why can't you remember? Okay. Another twister. Another twister? Okay. Twister. All right. Anyone else? Yeah. Angie, did you say you had a prayer request? I have two infections that hold on. Okay, you're. I. It's hard to understand. It's like going weird. I have. I have two infections. Of Okay. Can you hear? Uh, not really. Like no, it's not. Uh, not. Okay. Is that good? Mm -hmm. No. 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 Okay. Okay. I'm Just done. Our church family in prayer and our sick and shut in and our whole, all of our Easter services our weekend. Mm -hmm. So is it boot camp this Saturday? It's scripture. Yeah. What was that, Tanaya? Asking if there was any boot camp. I think we're doing boot camp on Saturday. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, boot yes. Camp. Boot camp. Okay. okay. All right. So our scripture for today is Romans ten and not. Excuse me, and nine. Okay. Okay, Faith, you ready? If you can fast with why? Oh, or, sorry. That should be your. I I messed up and I put with, a space in between. With your. Mom. Now? Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised raised him from the dead, you will be saved. All right. And for all those prayer requests that we said and those out there that we don't know of, uh, Tanaya, are you ready for the Lord's Prayer? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Our Father who went out in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forget those who trespass against us. I mean, it's not in temptation, but those from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. All right. Good job. Okay. Here we are. So last week... Listen to a story that Jesus told about. It was a parable about using our skills and abilities that God gave us, right? Remember, we talked about the different things that we can do well that God gave us those gifts to be able to do. Yeah. Yeah. And he gave them to us so we could use them to serve him, right? 
Uh, yeah. Yeah. So this week we're talking about Resurrection Sunday. What else is Resurrection Sunday called? Tania. Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday. That's right. And we celebrate God's gift of salvation through Jesus. It really has nothing to do with eggs and bunnies. No. <laughs> Oh, that's just kind of a tradition that people do with baskets and candy, candies. all that kind of stuff, right? But God's plan for providing salvation through Jesus, it wasn't easy. I mean, we, you know, we, we think about bunnies and, and candies, okay. eggs and things, but, you know, what Jesus went through and the death that he endured for us you know that's really um that's, that's not an easy it wasn't an easy death for him it was it was a horrible death for him so we know that this plan of god's involved a tomb and we're going to, I want you guys to listen when we're reading. We have a lot of Bible verses to read today, Tania. So listen to hear what else was part of God's plan. So, you know, the usual things we think of when we think of Easter, I think we're going to be talking about things that we don't usually talk about when it comes to Easter, right? Yes. So it's a lot of Bible verses. So we're going to switch off. We've got two. We've got almost 40 verses to read, Tanaya. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, so we're going to split yeah. it up a little bit. So you'll read the first two sections and then I'll read the second two sections okay so that's kind of how we'll set it up yeah so first start we're going to go to matthew chapter 27 i'm already there maria oh good so am i all right so you're going to read first you're going to read verses one and two okay me right here yeah so uh chapter 27 of matthew verses one and two when you're ready Ready. Go ahead. When the morning came, all the chief priests and priests and elders uh -huh. of the people plotting, plotted against Jesus to put him to death. And when they had bound him, they they, they led him away and delivered Pontius. I can't pronounce his name. Pontius Pilate. Pontius Pilate, the governor. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, in that same chapter, I want you to go down to verse 11. Oh, you mean right here? Yeah, and you're going to read from verse 11 to verse 31. Sure, I can do all those. I can okay. do that. Okay. Okay. Now Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, saying, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus said to the governor, I mean to him, As it, as you say, and, and while he was being accused by the chief priests and elders, he answered nothing that Pilate, said to him, do you not hear many things, many things they testify against you? But he answered him, not one word, and the governor marveled greatly. Keep going. And now the feast now, at the feast, the governor was accustomed releasing the, to the multitude one prisoner whom they wished. Okay. At that time, 
they they had a notorious prisoner called Barabbas. Uh huh. Good. Therefore, when they gathered, therefore when they they had gathered together, Pilate said to them, "Who said you want me to reach to Barabbas or Jesus, who is called Christ?" For he is for, for he knew that had hung, handed over because of envy. Mm -hmm. and while he was sitting on the judgment seat, his wife sent to him saying, have you had nothing to do with that man? I'm suffering. Mm -hmm. Things and today a dream because of him, the chief priests and elders persuaded the monks to that they should ask for Barabbas and destroy Jesus. The governor answered and said to me, Which of the two you want me to release to you? And they said, Barabbas. Mm -hmm. or Pilate said to, to Pilate said to them what should I do with Jesus the one called Christ they all said to him let him be crucified then the governor said why what Have evil has he done, but he cried out one, but they cried out all the more saying, let him be crucified. And Pilate saw that, that when he was not prevail at all, he took not at all, but rather than a torment. Mm-hmm was rising he take watch on Moshe's hands before the moat to say I am innocent of the blood of this just person you see it and he all the people answered and said his blood is on us and our children then then he released for robbers to them and 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 when he had scourged, scourged Jesus and delivered him to be crucified, and soldiers of the governor took Jesus into the pet. Uh, I can't pronounce that word, Mom. Pentum something. Spell it. It's P R A E T O R I U M. Spell it one more time. P R A E T T O R I U M. Praetorium? Yes, yeah, something like that. Okay had gathered the whole garrison around them and they stripped him and put on a scarlet robe on him when they had they, when they had twisted a crown of thorns and they and they put it on his head and a reed in his right hand and they bowed before, bowed before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. And they spat on him and took the reed and struck him on the head. Mm -hmm. And they, 
And when they mocked him, they took off his robe off him, put his own clothes on him, and let him the way be crucified. Okay, good. Oh, my goodness. That's what they did to our Jesus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Horrible. Horrible. So they yeah. whipped him. They spit on him. They yeah. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't over. It wasn't. Okay, so now we're going to go, let's see, I will read from 45 to 54. Unless, Tanaya, if you feel like reading all of it, you can. Yeah, I do want to do all of it. You do? Okay, that's fine. So now go to, okay, Faith, I need to read you because we can't hear. Okay. Faith, oh, I'll unmute you when we're done because you keep it sort of interrupting and it's hard to hear Tanaya when she's reading. Oh. Yeah, me, ma'am. Yeah, she's interrupting me. Okay. It's okay. We just, it's, it's hard to hear and this is really important. Okay. So now go to verse 45. Oh. Only. In that same chapter. Yeah, we're still in chapter 27. Oh, you mean right here? Yeah, so at uh, now we're going to hear about the death of Jesus. So this is the part where we're um, fast forwarding. So they were they beat him and all of that and took him judgment, all the judgment hall, put him on the cross. And now we are going to hear about his death. So you're going to start at verse 45 and read from verse 45 to verse 54. Okay. Right. Now, from the sixth hour until the ninth hour, there was a darkness come, darkness all over the land. Mm hmm Keep going. Would come out with a loud voicing. Is it Eli? Eli? Mm-hmm. Lama Sun. I can't pronounce that word. Try your best. It's actually, I believe it's uh one not not yeah. something like that. That's fine. That is my God, my God, why you have forsaken me. Mm -hmm. Some of those who have stood there when when they have heard this man's calling for Elijah, mm -hmm. immediately they come, immediately one of them ran and took out, uh, took a sponge and filled it with sour wine and put it on a reed and often offered to him to drink the rest of let him alone let us see elijah will come to save him and jesus cried out again with a loud voice and yielded his of his spirit then behold the veil of the temple was torn torn into from top to bottom and the Earthquake and the rocks were split, and the graves were opened. Mm -hmm. Many of the bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised, mm -hmm. and coming out of the graves after his resurrection, they went in the holy city and appeared to many. So the saints. Center. Cemetery? No, not cemetery. Center something. Okay. Center. Spell it. It's C. Oh, okay. It's C E N. T U R I O N. Centurion. Centurion. And those 
went there with guarding Jesus, saw the earthquake and and the thing that has happened when they when they feared greatly, saying, "Truly, this is the Lord, is the Son of God." Right now, they're saying it. All right, so now we're going to go to chapter twenty-eight of Matthew, which is the last chapter of Matthew, and you're going to start at verse one. Okay. And read, this is the last part of the reading, verses 1 through 7. So start at 1. Okay. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was began to dawn, Mary Magdalene huh? and the other Mary come see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake on angel of the Lord descended from the heaven and came roll back a stone from the door and they sat on it uh-huh and his conscience mm -hmm. was like lightning and his clothing white as snow and the guards shock shook shook the fear of him and become like a dead man but the angel answered and said to the women don't be afraid for I know that you see Jesus was crucified he wasn't he's not here for he has risen as he said, come see the place the Lord has way and go quickly tell his disciples so it, that he was risen from the dead. And then indeed you will, he is going, going before you to Galilee. <laughs> Therefore you will see him. Behold, I have told you good job all right that was a lot of reading so we went from the crucifixion to the death to the resurrection right yeah yeah all right so what was god's plan to save us from our sins hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> play yeah not quite no. Mm -mm. Yeah. How about Jesus's death and resurrection? And the burial. Yeah, that had to happen. Well, the burial came after the, the yeah, yeah, the crucifixion, yeah. the burial, and then the, yeah. So the only way to pay the price for our sins was for God's son, Jesus, to take yeah. them. And he took a horrible, horrible painful punishment for us <laughs> so that we could be saved right and um, then god raised jesus from the dead to prove that he is god's son right because yeah. remember what they said oh he truly is the son of god like well duh <laughs> <laughs> so god had planned a specific way right yeah, to provide salvation, our salvation through Jesus, and it it had to happen. All of that had to happen, but it was horrible. And salvation, we were talking about gifts last week. Salvation is a gift from God, but we need to decide to accept that gift, right? Yeah, that's provide for our salvation and for our sins. So God's plan was to send his son, Jesus, to die on the cross for our sins. That was the plan all along, right? And then he raised him from the dead to prove that he is God's son. So we need to, we need to accept and choose God's gift, right, of salvation. 
-hmm. that by letting Jesus into where? Heaven. Heaven. Where do we let Jesus into to accept that salvation? Hmm. Our heart, right? Yeah. Into our hearts, yes. So, so Resurrection Sunday or Easter Sunday, it is a day to celebrate because he conquered death, right? He he came back. He is risen. He is alive. So on that day, we remember Jesus died for our sins and was resurrected back to life. And we get to we share that joy with our friends and our family. And that's what we really need to remember that we're celebrating on Easter Sunday and yeah. not that it's not just about the baskets and the eggs and the candy. Bunnies. What's that? Bunnies and bunnies. It's not about the bunnies and the eggs. <laughs> I know we want, we like that part, but that's not the real, it's like Christmas people People forget why they celebrate Christmas, you know, the birth of our Savior. And, and by the same token, they kind of forget why we celebrate Easter. So, you know, we need to remember exactly what it is about. And that's what we were reading about today. What what Easter or Resurrection Sunday is really all about. I like about. Easter. Huh? I like Easter. Yeah, I do too. I do too. Yeah. So we are going. Any questions or comments about that part? No. Okay. Let me. I'm going to make this a little bigger. There. All right. Let me bring this up. All right. You ready, Faith? Many people heard Jesus during Passover week some praised praised Jesus Others plotted, plotted to kill him. The Jewish leaders arrested, arrested Jesus. They hold handed, handed him over to pilot, pilot, pilot was. Governor, Governor near in Governor in charge. charge. He asked Jesus many. Questions Pilot Pilot Good Good Fine No reason to kill Jesus he asked the people to free 
just the angry people. Shouted. 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 No. Crucify. Crucify. Jesus. No. Pilot? Pilot. Listened. Listen to the crowd. Crowd. He handed Jesus. Over to them. The soldiers. Soldiers. Bad. Beat. Beat Jesus. Can you see where you yeah. are? Yeah. Okay. They listen. Laugh. Laughed at him. They spent. Spat. Spat on him. The. Soldiers. Soldiers. May fun. Of Jesus. Are King, they made him wear a crown. A uh, crown was right. A crown of thorns. Thorns. They. Let me bring this up. But hold on one sec. Okay, we are right here. They hit him on the head. Then they nailed Jesus to a cross. He Painfully, painfully, hung good on the cross for six hours. He took the blame, blame. And punishment, punishment for our. 
sense. Against God and Jesus. Shouted. Shouted. And a loud voice. He and died. Suddenly. Suddenly. The earth quaked. 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 A soldier. Soldier. Said this man really was God's son. Friends buried, buried Jesus' body <sighs> in a tomb, tomb a few days later. Women want to visit the tomb. Tomb. Okay. Powerful earth crate shook shook the earth again, and an angel of the Lord appeared appeared. The angel said, Jesus is not here. He has prison. 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 Risen from risen from the dead go quickly and tell Jesus disciples disciples tell them to go to Galilee. Galilee. Jesus will meet you there. Good job. I don't think there's any more, but there might be. Oh, one more sentence. Jesus, death, and resurrection. A direction where part of God's pain plan plan for Jesus it was the only way to save us from our sins. Ah, uh, faith. Awesome. That was a lot of reading. Hmm. Okay, so this one says God's plan. George, read our directions. John, God's plan for Jesus, but 
to the teacher and the card and other. Good. All right. So they want us to tell which went first, second, and third. So what did he leave the tomb first? No, he done on the did cross. Did he get arrested first or did he get I, die on the cross first? I think he got arrested first. You're right. So this is one. And then what was next? And then he'd been put on the cross. Here you go. Good job. And, and then he went into the on in the tomb. And he rose, right? Rose. Yeah. yeah. All right. So it is ready to hear is our story this week. Are you ready, Tanaya? Ready. All right. Read. Dominic mm -hmm. has been going to church since he was a young boy. He went to his parents when he lived at home. Now he goes with his group home, Dominic's mm -hmm. Bible study Leader is Mr. Chris. Mm -hmm. He makes the scriptures interesting. One Sunday, as it it was, as if Dominic heard the the Bible for the first time. Dominic talked to Mr. Chris. He said, I think Jesus is talking to me when I'm starting to feel bad about the wrong things I have done. Why I do feel this way, Mr. Chris said, tell me what is different what do you think Jesus is telling you? Dominic explained, I know Jesus died for, for people's sins. I believe God raised Jesus from the dead. I never understood he did that for me. I thought he, I was fine because I go to church. I did not think the Bible was talking about me, but now Jesus, I think Jesus died for sins. Mr. Chris showed Dominic more scriptures and they want to pray with the pastor. Mm -hmm. Dominic, I am ready to become a Christian. I want Jesus to save me. And he can do that, huh? Yeah. Sure can. Yeah, sometimes, you know, you hear something when someone's teaching or you just you hear a scripture that you've heard before but when you hear somebody explain it in a different way it it you know sometimes it kind of like a light bulb goes off in your head sometimes like oh I get it now sometimes it's hard and then all of a sudden one day you just get it yeah Okay, so find your way along the road, learn how to be saved from your sins. So we're starting here. Oh boy. I think that's a maze. I think you're right. All right, so we're starting here. And 
All right. Well, let's go. Hello. There we go. All right. So we're going to go here. Admit you sin. Yep. We are all. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then believe Jesus died for your sins. Okay. Yeah. I do. And let's see. Come on, Shelly. Hurry up. Feature your oh, sandwich. Oh, no, in a little study. Hurry up, honey. All right, let's go this way and confess your faith in Jesus. Yay, we finished. <laughs> That's how we do it. We get to be saved from our sins by admitting we sin, believe Jesus died for your sins, confess your faith in Jesus. Yeah. That simple. And believe in your heart, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Excellent, excellent lesson. You guys did a great job tonight. What did you learn or remember from this lesson? Faith. The cross. The cross. Yes. Very important part. George. Mm, a cross. A cross, okay. And Tanaya. Pontius Pilot. Pontius Pilot, yeah. He said, hey, I don't see that he did anything wrong, and his blood is not on my hands, right? Right. And he didn't want to crucify Jesus because he said he didn't do anything wrong. He's innocent. So he but is the bad guy. Um, he Pontius Pilate actually no because he didn't want them to crucify Jesus. He couldn't oh. find that Jesus did anything wrong, and he said, "Hey, this man's blood is not on my hands." Right? He washed his hands, remember? And he said, "You know." And so they said, "That's okay. We'll crucify him." So it was yeah. very, very bad. But again, it had to happen. That was part of God's plan, even though it was a horrible, horrible death. But yeah. guess what? Did he stay dead? Um, Jesus? Jesus. Oh, oh, he rose. Jesus oh, lived. Jesus. Yeah. All right. So who is going to pray us out? Tanaya. All right. Go ahead. Huh? Okay. I want to please God help with those people and those twisters. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Help with the twisters. Yeah. All right, you guys. So we're going to have tomorrow night, we will be having, um, I'm not sure about five o'clock Bible study, but we're oh. definitely going to be having the good Friday night service at seven. Oh. So even if we have, whether we have Bible study or not, we're still going to have the good Friday service starts at seven and it'll be online. And then and boot, boot camp will be on Saturday, prayer on Saturday night. And then we have two services on Sunday. We have the, the sunrise service at six in the morning. And then we have the 11 o'clock service. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right. So that all is going on. You guys did a great job tonight. And we will see you Saturday. Yes. All right, you guys. Have a good night. Night. Bye, everybody. Bye.